<laughs> morning all. 1st of July. Middle of summer. Wouldn't you know it. Okay, guys, let's get into the uh, the march, guys. We're going to have a little bit of education today, as well as some cardiovascular exercise. So, guys, remember, hello to new people, hello to regulars. Um, I'll just turn the music down. I've got summer magic on, so but you can put on whatever music you want in the background. Okay, so, guys, straight into the march. Okay, so let's get into it. the flippy poppies. Straight into the march. So, plenty of... I've seen them out today. Okay, and I'm going to go through some of this with you. Now, this booklet is uh, Public Health England in association with Sport England, active at home. Now, I've got this to send out to people uh, via email. Okay, keep marching, guys. So, uh, they send it out, similar to what we did, thanks to those that requested the, um, the OCL six strength and balance exercises. Okay, so I've sent them out via email to you. Uh, so, similar with this, okay, but it's a good document. Bless you. Must be uh hey, people upstairs. Okay, so I'm gonna send this out to you guys if you want to. Uh, but it's not just about exercise, it's about tips about um sleep and uh, eating and diet and things like that. Okay, the benefits of it. Okay, so I'm gonna go through it slightly with you. Okay, let's go into the heel taps. Okay. Because a lot of it reinforces the things that we've been doing in these classes over the last few months. Number 29, I think, today. No, I'm counting. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, it was not looking too great. Not looking too bad. Um, so, yeah. Okay. So, guys, while you'll keep doing your heel taps, okay? Heel taps. Today, we're going to need the tins, okay? So, I've got rice pudding and ravioli. Hell of a combination. I won't be eating them at the same time afterwards. Oh, you never know. Could be a tense sensation. Taste sensation like garlic. Goes back into the march. <laughs> uh, we've got the resistance band if you want to use your resistance band. We've got the chair always for support. So remember, you could do these exercises all stood up. You could do some stood up, some sat down. Or you do them all sat down. Or you can have the chair to the side, the rear, or to the front for that bit of balance for you. Okay. Similar to what we did on Monday when we did the, uh, the heel to toes. And the balance exercises, didn't we? Okay, rock you back onto the heels. Okay, okay. In fact, let's go into side taps, guys, because it's just a little warm up, a little pulse raise, get the heart and the lungs going. Okay, I'll go through some of this, I'll get rid of the remote control. Okay, guys, make sure you got your water with you. Okay, it's a good document. Okay, active at home, a guide to being active at home during the coronavirus outbreak. What coronavirus outbreak? Oh yeah, joke. <laughs> okay guys, back into the march again. Now we're going to be doing all these exercises more when we do the cardiovascular components. Okay. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll put in some resistance work at the end. Uh, similar to what we did on Monday. Okay. So good document. Okay. Back to the bit of education while we're doing these sessions. Uh, okay. Let's go to the ankle mobiliser guys. So heel. On the floor, followed by the toe, heel, toe. So remember guys, whether you've got the chair for support or you sat down, it's the same thing. Or if you stood up, remember this good base of support, feet hip width apart. I was going to put it on a t-shirt and print it, uh, but I never got around to it. Uh, and then replacing the heel with the toe each time. Okay. So really getting the ankle mobilising, really lifting the toes, really pointing the toes down. So you really, what we call paddling the feet as we do the exercise. Okay. Uh, okay, being active is good for our physical and mental well-being. Okay, although after watching me three times a week, three months, it's probably not doing much for you. <laughs> okay, guys, let's change sides, guys, because we've got quite a lot to get through today. Okay. That's about healthcare appointments, being cancelled. Okay. So the benefits of being active. Keep going with the heel to toe, guys, heel. You can never see on this camera that it's getting me feet on. I'm on the road again today. So, being active every day. Okay, guys, back into the march. Helps keep your spirits up. Helps you sleep. Stay independent. Helps you maintain healthy weight. Okay. 
reduces the risk of falls and fractures. Okay, let's do some lunges, guys, some rear lunges while we're doing these. Okay, guys, if you're on the chair, just go to the hand to knee. Okay, which we're going to do next. Okay, it's part of the warm up. Uh, keeps you steady on your feet. So, what we did on Wednesday. Keeps your bowels regular. I won't get into that. Reduces the risk of heart attack, stroke, diabetes, and some cancers. And it prevents health conditions or prevents many health conditions from worsening. Okay, so you, a lot of you guys have been referred on to this for uh, health reasons. Okay, so being physically active helps. Okay, so we're looking at uh, 30 minutes a day, five days a week. So you're getting three of those in just by doing three of these classes with me, guys, into the march. Yeah, let's go for the side bends, okay. Go back to middle each time. Okay, arm back down. Just reaching down to the sides of the knees. Okay, remember if you're seated though, okay, with your good base of support, what you're gonna do is be reaching down towards the floor. Pause each time in the middle, okay, remember. Keep your back straight, keep your chin up, okay, keep your tummy pulled in while you're doing these, okay. Okay, so keep going. So the two key kind of activity are strength and balance exercises. I think we covered those over these last few months. Aerobic exercise, okay, which is what we're doing today. Okay, a bit of cardio work, also known as aerobic. Okay, so I'm not gonna be doing my leg warmers and my sweat band. So don't know done with them. I think we're done too. Yeah, we're one more guys. Okay guys, back into the match because we've got quite a lot to get through. Uh, okay, but obviously safety reasons, no unnecessary clutter, or animals. Fish is well behaved. So pitch sturdy and support for nearby, so like we said with the chair guys. Okay. Glass of water, okay this is all in the booklet. Okay, let's go to the next mobilisation exercise which is the trunk twists. Okay, so back to the middle. Opposite side, back to the front. Okay, remember keeping the hips facing forward and turning at the waist. Okay. Guys, if you're seated, same again. Twisting to the side. Okay. You keep going, guys. So a glass of water, we've got well-fitted supportive shoes that are done up and comfortable clothing. I've got my trainers and I'm quite comfortable. <laughs> uh, set the pace. Uh, then we'll build up gradually as we've done over the weeks, okay, so just reinforcing what we've already done over the sessions of these. Uh, if you're on your keep a telephone handy, okay, you might be using it to watch this. Okay, another one each side. Okay, back into the match guys, we've just got one more mobilisation exercise which is going to be the shoulder rotations. Don't hold your breath. Uh, and if you feel a bit stiff after days after, uh, that's to be expected. And if you experience acute or severe pain or dizziness, then stop and rest. Okay, we, we know that anyway, don't we? Okay, so let's go into the shoulder rotations. Okay, so we're bringing up to the front, around to the rear. Guys, same if you're seated, you might just want to bring your legs into a little bit so you can get a good rotation movement while you're seated on the chair. Okay. Mm. Oh, so far. Okay. Well guys, keep marching while you're doing it, if you want, maybe standing or seated. Okay. okay. Let's come round the front, okay, so rotating now to the rear, and then round to the front. Okay. Okay. Both muscles and joints like to be moved, lack of movement causes your muscles to waste away, can affect your strength and balance, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, got some seated exercises, which we know already. Other chair marching. Oh, well, let's go back to the marching, guys. Let's go back to the marching. There's quite a lot to get through. And this is there's about 20 pages, this booklet. Okay, I'm going to print it off. Yeah, so we've done the arm raises. We've done the heel to toe. Okay, arm curls are covered. Okay, the stretching. Okay, so we're in the wall one now. Good, okay. Guys, uh, <coughs> have a breather. Okay, we're going to get into the cardio, so I'm going to need my stopwatch. Stop watch. 
So I'm going to do these in order. Okay. So if you do want me to send this booklet out to you, you've already done the booklet today just by tuning into this. Okay. So we're going to go for a minute. Okay. Uh, I'd say chairs have support if you need it. We're not going to use the tins, the resistance. We're going to do some of that at the end, as of course, to uh, cardio and resistance. And cardio and resistance. Going to keep it fairly simple today, guys. Okay. So the first one, guys, what we're going to do, um, we're going to do the hand to knee. Okay, guys. So let's go. Opposite hand to knee. Okay. So as you see, seated, you just bring your knee up slightly and tap with the opposite hand if you can. Okay. If you're standing, waist height. Okay, remember guys, got a nice pace if you want to get your heart and your lungs going. If you want to work on the balance, slow it down. Okay. Okay, I've just got a nice moderate pace. Okay. Guys, you're all working at different levels depending on how many weeks you've been tuning in. Uh, and reason why you've been referred. Okay, so you've got your own pace. That's 30 seconds already, guys. Okay. Remember this good base of sports so each time the foot comes back to the same position and opposite leg comes up to waist height. Okay. Okay. Hey guys, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, good. Seven moments, okay. Guys, the next exercise is going to be the um, the calf raises. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to go up onto the calves, back down into the squat, up calf raise. Okay. So we're going to do the the calf raise and the squat. Okay. So we get thirty seconds rest time in between each of these cardio stations, which means we need to go down. Okay. So squat up onto the tiptoes. Guys, remember when you keep going. Guys, you can do it with a chair, you can do a sit to stand, okay, or you can have the chair in front or to the side just for support, okay, up onto the tiptoes, okay, so we're checking the balance there. Remember guys, when you do the squat, you're sticking your bum out, okay, feeling it on the thighs, the calves and the glutes, okay, and then when you come up, same, basic support, up onto the tiptoes. And remember though, when you squat guys, you don't let the knees come over the toes. Okay guys, that's 30 seconds. Okay. Squat up onto the toes. Okay. Squat up onto the toes. Okay. Squat. That's okay guys, 10 seconds. Okay. Okay, that's five, four, ooh, like a jack in the box. Three, and two, and one. Okay, guys, have a breather. Okay, guys, we've got a lot to get through. And check. Okay, good, not even halfway through yet. Okay, so remember, we'll have a 30 seconds rest in between the one minute cardio stations. Okay. So the next one, guys, we're going to do the toe taps. Okay, now there is a variation on here, which is the leg lift. <laughs> so if you want to try that one, it's one we haven't done before, actually. So you can have the toe tap, tapping the toe on the floor. Okay, guys, let's get into it. Guys, if you see, just remember just tapping out wider than the waist, level with the shoulders if you can. Guys, if you're standing wider than the shoulders, okay. If you can, a little tap will be fine, okay. If you want to, guys, you can do the... Really feeling that on the hips. Okay. But remember, it's a sideward movement. Okay. So we're actually working the outsides of the legs, okay. We're working the hip and the, uh, the abductor muscles on this one, okay. Well, you could do a swing, which would work the adductor muscles, but let's not get complicated, okay? Let's not get too complicated, okay? So taps. Okay, guys, good. We're over 30 seconds, nearly 45 seconds in this one. Okay, like I say, go nice and steady. Okay, nice and fast. Okay, 10 seconds. Okay. Five. Four, three, two, one. Okay, guys, good. Okay, so we're getting a bit warmer now. The heart and the lungs are working, the muscles are getting warm. Okay, <sighs> hey, they open the windows actually. Okay, a little breather, guys. Remember, 30 seconds, are we moving on? Okay, that's 
see what we do. We'll see in this one. Okay. Ways to build activity into your day. Okay. Page 12. Okay. Guys, the next cardio exercise is going to be the heel kicks. Okay. So, guys, if you're seated, I want you to go back to the hand to knee. Guys, if you're standing, feet a little bit wider than hip, and you're going to curl up. You're working the backs of the legs here, curling the heel up towards the bottom. Okay, like chairs for support if you need it. Okay, let's keep it going. Okay, you set the stopwatch. Okay, okay. Uh, ways to build activity into your day. Dancing. Ooh. Put a bit of music on so I could dance. Cleaning. Going up and down the stairs. Difficult if you're a bungalow. I do some regular stretching, which we're going to do at the end today, guys. If you really want a good stretching session, look back at last week's class. I think it was last Wednesday when we did the, the yoga exercises. Okay. It wasn't a full yoga class, it was like a yoga ish type session that we did. Okay, guys. 10 seconds. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. Okay, guys, easy down. Okay, remember, guys, we've got that 30 second breather now before the next exercise. Uh, okay, which is going to be um, rear lunge, like we did in the warm up, guys. Okay, so we'll keep the feet loose, okay? Okay, so remember this one, we're going to reach out, we're going to touch the floor behind you. Okay, chairs here if you need it, to the front or to the side. Guys, if you're seated, I want you to go back to them side taps again on the chair, okay? Okay, okay guys, let's get into it. So remember reaching out, keeping the head up, back straight, till we pull it in, and you're just dipping the toes, touch the floor, alternating legs, okay? Then back into this support, basic support here, remember guys? Okay, guys, you keep going. Stay healthy, okay? Washing your hands, stay connected via phone, letters, emails. Email me whenever you want. Message me. Uh, limit intake of food and drinks that are high in fat, salt, and sugar. Mm. Possibly taking a vitamin D supplement if you're not getting out, okay, like you would do normally for, for reasons, okay. Uh, balanced diet, fruit, vegetables, starchy foods such as bread, cereals, potatoes, beans, pulses, fish, and meat. Two portions of fish per week, one of which should be oily. Dairy products, oils and spreads. Choose unsaturated and use in moderation. Okay, you can make smaller meals, eat more regular. Or you can have some snacks, providing healthy. Okay guys, 10 seconds. Guys, remember, a little 30 second rest, okay? Okay. Uh, hydration six to eight glasses of water a day, okay? Uh, limit alcohol and smoking, uh, prioritize going to sleep, going to bed and waking up at regular times. Puzzles, I get puzzled all the time. Oh no, doing puzzles, crosswords, letter writing. Make sure you have two weeks' supply of medications. Okay, it's normal to feel worried and anxious. Okay, so well, pretty straightforward. Okay, you have a little plan there that you can do for the day. Okay, it's in the booklet. Okay, a little bit of planning. Okay, breakfast, lunch, tea. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, guys, the next cardiovascular exercise that we're going to do is going to be the front lunge. Okay, so remember if you're seated in the chair. You're going to come forward, don't let the knee go over the toe, back to the base of support, opposite leg. Okay, back, okay. So okay, remember if you're seated, guys, you get into it. Okay, you get into it. So lunge, lunge, okay, so placing that foot on the floor. 
and he doesn't go over the toes. If you see two guys, remember you're just going to put your weight onto one foot, come forward, and back into this position. Okay, so seated, forward. Okay, remember guys, the chair's there if you need it. Okay, in front. Okay, you want to just step away from the chair so you can lunge towards it. Or you can have it at the side for balance. Okay. Okay, staying safe at home, what to do if you have a fall. We need to do some, uh, we did touch on it when we did some floor exercises. I had to get up and down from the floor using a chair, using the strongest arm and the strongest leg, coming onto all fours. Um, okay, I might cap on that on another session. Okay, guys. Good booklet, to be honest with you, good booklet. I can't get you a practical, I haven't ordered any copies. Roll onto your side, push onto the elbows, okay, so yeah, it's got some advice on here to get up off the floor, similar to what we did in one of the other sessions. Okay guys, 10 seconds. Useful contacts. Okay. Five. Four. Three. Let's pick up right. <laughs> have a breather again okay so good this one guys so remember message me i'll send it out to you okay don't put any email addresses telephone numbers anything on here uh just uh message me like say if you, if you send click on the message button it'll come through to me messenger uh and i'll send it out to you direct via email okay uh yeah, very good Thanks. Covered all this side, I think. I messed my order up. Um, recap of key points. Exercise is safe and helpful for most people. Try to be active every day. Try to do strength and balance as exercises three times per week, uh, as in these classes. But you've also got the other exercises that you can do. Like cleaning. Doing the dishes. Gardening. Okay. Okay guys, quick time check. Okay guys, that's 22 minutes, okay? So we've done a quick pulse raiser, okay? Uh, some mobilization exercises, okay? And then we've just done a series of cardiovascular exercises for one minute per uh, exercise with a 30 second recovery time in the middle. So we've done HIIT training today, but instead of calling it HIIT, high intensity interval training, we'll call it MIT. Moderate intensity interval training. MIT. A revelation. Or we could do LIT, which is low intensity interval training. <laughs> no. The moderate one. Moderate one we're doing. So we're not doing HIT, we're doing MIT. I've made up a word. I'm going to patent it. That could be my way now to fame and fortune. So, uh, yes. If you see me on the telly instead of Mr. Motivator, time he retired, I can wear spandex. Cold and suit me. Sorry, right, guys. Right, guys, let's go to the tins. Okay, we're going to do some resistance exercises now. Okay, so I've got my ravioli and I've got my rice pudding. Both begin with R. Okay, let's do some bicep curls. Okay, so static position now, guys. We've done our cardio. We've done our aerobic exercise, we're going to do some muscle strengthening now. Okay, so you remember on Wednesday, we worked it all in together. Okay, today we just do the exercise. So it's good base of support, feet hip width apart, head up, back straight, tummy pulled in, feet flat on the floor, knees slightly bent. Okay. Okay, now you can alternate. Or you can do both. At the same time. Oh, remember these, sugar babes. So we're really strengthening the front of the arms here now with these curls. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to turn them to the front, bend slightly at the waist, if you're seated as well guys, remember, if you still have that chair in front of you for support, elbow, uh, tins up to the ribs, and we're going to extend the arms. Okay, we're not fully extend, keep the elbow slightly bent. Okay, so we're now working the backs of the arms. Okay, so the first one, the curls works the fronts, or the biceps, 
This one works the back of the arms, also known as the triceps. Okay, a little test of the balance here for you. Don't lean too far forward. Okay. Okay. I don't want to pull on ravioli and rice pudding on the rug. The three R's. Rice pudding, ravioli, rug. You'd be happy though. <laughs> Sweet for you. <laughs> okay guys, let's take it up. Okay, plates or dumbbells on the side. Or you can use the resistance band, remember by standing on the band. Okay, and coming up to shoulder height. Okay, so really working the shoulder muscles now. Okay. So again with this one, looking forward. Okay, remember that lollipop stick? the chin. Okay. Now remember guys when we finish you can do some more of these if you want. Okay because these half an hour sessions like I say we, we do cram quite a lot in into the 30 minutes. Okay. So if you want to do some more cardio or you want to do some more resistance work that's fine. Okay let's turn it into a front one. Okay, so coming up to the front now we can alternate. So working the fronts of the shoulders here guys. Alternate, we can do both at the same time. What I like to do is a little crisscross so where they cross in the middle. And cross in the middle. And cross in the middle. And cross in the middle. I'm going to stop saying cross in the middle. Okay. It's a good one, these ones, so you're in perpetual motion, okay? It also tests your balance. Both sides are moving same time but in opposite directions. Without rubbing your head and scratching your belly. Or the way around. Okay guys, let's do some chest exercises, okay? I think what we'll do today, rather than the press, I think we'll do the, the flies, okay? So bringing the tins out to the sides. So pointing the thumbs up, pointing the thumbs down as you go out, okay? Slightly down, thumbs up. Feel this across your back as well guys, backs of the shoulders, working the chest muscles, okay, really opening out the chest, okay, so it's going to help with your breathing, okay, it's going to strengthen the intercostal muscles here as well as the pectoral muscles, okay, so you're going to be further for your breathing, like I said, it's going to help, really stretching the chest out. Do some shrugs, okay? It's important that we work these muscles on the neck, okay? So it supports the neck, helps turning, okay? If you have any neck problems, strengthening the muscles around the neck. Don't go slightly bent, just shrugging the shoulders. The stronger the muscles, the more support you've got, okay? The less wear, less pressure is done on the joints, then on the bones, especially in the spine. This is the cervical spine. Okay, up around the neck. Okay. So you notice we haven't done any calf raises or any squats because we did quite a lot of leg work in the cardio component. Okay, so all them lunges, front lunges, side lunges that we did, squats and calf raises. Okay, even though we didn't have any resistance, they were still working the muscles. Okay. Okay, guys, let's have a little time check. Okay, oh, they feel that in the neck muscles, brilliant. Okay, perfect guys, that's nearly 30 minute session today. Okay, remember guys, uh, let's go into the stretch. Let's stretch the legs first, okay? So the heel down to the rear, okay? Come into the stretch at the front, don't let the knee go over the toes, okay? So you're gonna push the heel on the floor. Guys, if you see to just come forward onto that front leg, so you feel a bit of a stretch on the thigh. A little recap, okay? So we did the, the 22, 23 minute cardiovascular, including the pulse raiser and the mobility. Uh, one minute station with 30 seconds uh, rest in between, okay? We've just done the static resistance exercises for the upper body. Uh, the okay. So we did the fronts of the arms, we did the backs of the arms, we did the sides, we did the front shoulder, we did the chest and the upper back, and then we did the shoulder.
shrugs from the neck muscles. Okay. Um, got clouds going a bit dark now. Sky, clouds. Hopefully it's not coming this way, up towards the north side Saddleworth area. Hopefully it's going that way, towards Royton. Apologies if you live in Royton. Back into the hamstring stretch. Let's take the arm across, guys. Time's against us a little bit. And we're sitting back as well. You're going to sit down into the chair. You feel the stretch down the back here. Normally we put the hands on here for support. But we're going to stretch out the shoulder muscles. Just a little pull on the elbow. Just to stretch out the deltoids. Okay. Now remember guys, this is a, an information booklet. But remember I've got the, the OCL home exercise booklet. Um, which is a full workout. Okay. Uh, it's really good. It's got the RPE scale on it. Uh, rate of perceived exertion um, that's how I've been sending that out to new guys but if anybody wants a copy of that like I say let me know I'll send it out to you via email um, let's go for the forward stretch okay pushing the fingers this time elbow slightly bent okay uh, might go through that actually some of that in the next session okay um, it's quite a big document it's got quite a lot of information on it uh, but it's good, it's good. It's all these exercises that are in it because we like, like I say, uh, we like a bit of positive reinforcement, all these are teaching points, okay, um, and the techniques, but also the fact that um, the stuff that we do in these classes, and back guys, the stuff that we do in these classes is, is things that, that is recognized. Um, I'm not just making it up as I go along. Not all of it. Pretty, pretty standard exercises that we do. Okay, like I say, normally, like I say, we would do them in a group environment and we'd all be doing them together. Uh, obviously, at the moment, it isn't possible. So, uh, again, guys, thanks for joining in. Uh, the Public Health England booklet, guys, let me know if you want a copy of it uh, or you want a copy of the home booklet. Again, you want some bands, you want some DVDs, uh, you want me to drop your prescriptions off, whatever you want, guys. Okay, let me know. It's uh, Wednesday, uh, so I shall see you all on Friday, uh, and we'll try and do something again a little bit different. Okay. Cheers, guys. Thanks a lot. Ta-da.